Welcome to December Days. My name is LaToya Fisher and I am the Recreation Program Supervisor here with my lovely co-host. Hello, I am Rose Cummins and I am the Community Center Coordinator. So we're really excited today to do a fun craft with you. We're going to make these adorable snowy owls to celebrate the snowy season of December. So I'll do a quick overview of all the materials you will need to get started. So you'll need some pipe cleaners, which will serve as the beak as well as the feet. And feel free to use different colors, get creative. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you can also use paper. You're gonna also need some cotton balls, which will serve as the snow for our snowy owl. Yes. You're going to need tacky glue. Or you can just use some regular Elmer's glue or a hot glue gun. Yep. Hot glue gun of parental supervision. You're also gonna need a pair of scissors. If you have fabric scissors, even better. That will be great for the felt. But if you only have regular scissors, that totally works too. You are going to need googly eyes, any size for your owl. We are using the bigger googly eyes for ours. You'll need a pen or a marker. You'll need felt. And last but not least, you'll need pine cones. Pine cones. So in the recreation department, we always want to promote physical activity. So if you'd like to go out, forage, get some pine cones, make sure they're free of bugs uh, yeah. to use on your own, you can. Or you can also go to your local art and craft store, pick some up. Ours smell like maple pecan. They do smell good. So to get started, we're going to do this a little bit backwards. So first, we're going to put together all of the extremities and the eyes and those things so that they have time to dry while we're stuffing our owls with snow. So first, Rose, can you show us how to make some feet? To start off, you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to split it into three even parts, as even as you can make it. Mine's not the most even, that's okay. And then you're going to cut it into those three even parts. So now you have three separate pieces of pipe cleaner, which is great. And you're going to join them all together. And what you're going to do is you're going to start twisting at the center of them. And you're going to keep going. And these are going to be the little feet talons for the owl. So at the end, when you twisted it, you'll have these three parts on either side. Then you'll bend them. And then this will be what you tuck under the finished pine cone to be the feet. So next, we're gonna make sure that we do some eyes. So you're gonna take your googly eyes and you're gonna take your felt fabric. You can use whatever color you want. We're gonna use orange for our background. And you're gonna place the eyes on the fabric. You're gonna take your marker or your pen. Let me get this over here. And you want to make like an hourglass or infinity or like an eight symbol. So since one side of the fabric is going to be glued to the owl, it's okay if you mess up a little bit. So where the small part of the eight is, you want to keep it a little bit thicker on that part when you start cutting. And then it's gonna look like this when you're all done. Beautiful. Now you can layer it. And in that case, you would do the same exact thing that you did here, but just a little larger. So it's kind of like a background to the other one. So see here how the orange piece is smaller than the brown piece. So you can layer colors just like that. And then next, we're gonna make the wings. So in order to make the wings, you're gonna need your two pieces of felt again, and you're going to make a teardrop. Basically, you're just going to make a little teardrop, and then you're going to make a bigger teardrop around that one. This is going to be my small one. That's going to go on my bigger teardrop. And a little hack so that I don't have to do this twice, I'm just going to fold it over and cut around it. That's a great hack because it means that they'll be the same size, too. All right, so now I'm going to take 
my small wing. I'm going to lay it on my other felt color. And I'm going to trace a little bit wider than the current one. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to fold it over. And then I'm going to cut around so that I'll now have two bigger teardrop wings. Okay? So when you're done, these are the ones I made before, it'll look something like this. So we have our wings, we have our eyes, we have our feet, and now Rose, can you show us how to make the beak? The first thing you're gonna do is take one of your pipe cleaners. I've chosen a yellow one to do it. Um, and you're gonna start by cutting it in half. And then you're going to take half of that yellow pipe cleaner, or whatever color pipe cleaner you choose, and you're going to fold it in half like this. Then you're going to fold it in half again. And then you're going to fold it in half one more time. So it's a small little cute beak that can fit right in between the pieces on a pine cone. Um, and then when you do this, you might have some of the sharp edges of the um, pipe cleaner sticking out. So you can kind of shape it and bend it so that those pieces are hidden and it just looks really nice and smooth at the ends. You can play around with it. Like uh, for hours, we left our mouths open a little bit. Or you can choose to keep the mouth closed yeah. on your owl. All right, let's start gluing. Let's start gluing. If you have two pieces of fabric to make the eyes, you're going to glue them together. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this orange piece. And I'm going to stick that on the other piece of felt so you have this little piece set up. And then Latoya can show us the next step. Yep. So then next you're going to take your googly eye. You're going to stick a little bit of that tacky glue or whatever glue you have right on the back of that. I'm just going to smash it right on there and let it sit. You're going to do the same thing with the other one. And then you have your eyes. Beautiful. And next we're going to assemble our wings. So what I like to do is take the smaller piece of fabric and load it up with some glue. And also my fingers load it up with glue. It's okay to get a little messy. Yep. And then I want to place it right about in the middle of my bigger wing. And I will repeat the same thing with my other guy. So now you have your wings. So one cool thing that's different about snowy owls versus other owls is that they nest on the ground and they do most of their hunting and activity during the day versus most owls who do most of their activities at night. Oh, so they're not nocturnal. No. They sleep at night. Exactly. Very cool. Just like we do. Exactly. We have our eyes, we have our feet, we have our wings. Our and beaks. we have our beak. All the essential components of a snowy owl, except for their white soft feathers. So now we need some snow. Now we need some snow for our snowy owls. And this is the most fun part. Yeah. So for the kind of smaller pine cones, we're using, um, I'd say about five cotton balls would, be, would do the trick. And basically what you're doing is you're tearing apart the cotton balls to make this white fluffy kind of snow material and you can just stick it in between little pieces on the pine cone because these are a little bit spiky it sticks in really well you don't have to glue them down they'll just stick in there yep. you can do different materials Latoya likes to do hers as she goes I like to be a little chaotic and rip up all of mine before I do it if you don't have cotton balls at home you can really kind of use any sort of fluffy stuffing material, anything that would kind of look nice and snowy and uh, fit right in. Another thing you can do if you want to add a little spruce to them is you can put glitter on them. So make sure you have a plate or something, a nice material where once you sprinkle the glitter on after you've stuffed them with the cotton that the glitter can all fall to. And that's just another way to take your snowy owl to the next level. <laughs> the next level. Next level snow, yeah. Yeah, that's great. All right, so 
the first thing I like to do is to glue the feet. So to do that, you're really just gonna take this bent part and you're gonna glue that to the underside of the pine cone so that you get the little feet sticking out in the front. So I just take a little bit of glue. Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry using Latoya's tip. There you go. All right, so next, I like to do the eyes next. So I like to figure out exactly where I'm gonna place the eyes on my snowy owl. I, I know where I want my eyes now, so then I'm gonna take them off and glue them down. There are my eyes. Beautiful, it looks great. So I guess the next thing we'll wanna do is glue the wings on. I think that'd be a great idea. So, same thing. Put some glue on the back of your wings. And then you're gonna take your wings and just glue them to the side of your bird. Well, yours is so close to completion. Why don't you go ahead and show us about the beak too? Just keep going? Yeah, All right. just keep going for it. So really now I have my feet, my eyes, my wings. The last finishing touch is the beak. So of the beak, you're gonna to wanna to take this bent end of the beak and you're gonna to wanna to figure out what little spot you tuck it into. Um, I think I'm gonna have a slightly to the, to the right side beak here. Ooh. So to secure it, you could just stick it in, but you wanna make sure it's secure. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue just on the end of the beak. And, then, and that's really how you make the snowy owl. This is the finished product. A nice little snowy owl family. So thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We hope that you will make these snowy owls, take pictures with them and tag us on our social media or just stop by and show us what you did. So we hope you have a wonderful December days and we hope you stop by and see some of the classes, camps and fun activities that we offer and stay warm and safe out there. Take care. Ha <laughs> <laughs>